1943, World War II. Madness engulfed the planet. The future was uncertain, and I was there. I remember a man with a harmonica. He sat numb in the ruins of his city, playing some forgotten tune, oblivious to the hell around him. It seemed a sign of my own fate. People are afraid of war, but they'll never know the true terror that lurks behind it. Now I have another mission. Mission in the eye of a silent storm. Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later, Helene here along with... Jakir! And welcome to the 4th Eat Something Sunday, where, well, as the title says, or as the title might hint at, uh, yeah. we'll be showing off uh, up to four games for about half an hour each, and we're starting with a game that I'd known quite a bit about, but I never really played much besides a demo. Which is, of course, as I said at the top of the screen, Silent Storm, also known as S2, even though it's not actually a sequel, as the symbol might suggest, <laughs> make some think. There actually oh, is right. a sequel called Silent Storm Sentinels, which they shorten as S3. So, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if people were searching for a, a prequel to this game at some point. Uh, yeah. This game I'd describe a bit as uh, XCOM, but without a grid. And yeah, because we are starting off, we probably best to go through the tutorial. Welcome to the tutorial for Silent Storm. In this mission, you'll learn the basic game controls during the mission tutorial. Message will appear. The, 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 the basic tutorial stuff. Movement. You can see your main character for this mission in the center of the screen. Not that. No, he's not in this. Not in the dead center, but still. It, uh, 
You move your character, you can click on the ground and your character will start moving. His path is shown by green dots and his destination is a green circle. You can also move your character by clicking on the movement button with a picture of a boot on it. Then click on the desired destination. Now move your character to the mar place marked by an arrow. Okay, yeah. As is clear, this game is a bit old. Like 2003 old. We move with left click. Okay, so camera movement. Almost 20 years old, people. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah this game can almost drink uh, all around the world. It's, you have full control over the game camera. Zoom, you can scroll, turn, or zoom the camera. As well as change its pitch, you can move your camera with the border on the borders. If you move your mouse to the borders, you can also move by pressing the arrow keys. Okay, I was pressing them early, but they didn't actually do. Right mouse button to uh, to turn the direction, change the pitch. Okay, so like this. Yeah, this game is fully 3D, and let's move our character over there. You'll note that. Yeah, you'll note that those dots are in green. That's because yeah, at the moment it's a tutorial, so we have unlimited movement, basically. Open doors, click on the door, your character will open it, move to it. Okay. And where is the door? Up there. Okay, I might change the direction of the, how the mouse turning goes, because when I turn right, it turns the, mo the camera left. Let's see, we need to remove the roof to see into the building. To do this, press the button with the red arrow pointing down to remove one floor. You can restore a floor by pressing up. Okay, also plus and minus. Okay, that is very useful to know. Okay, there we go. It uses the numpad ones. Yeah, this will be useful later on. But with the dots this game works with action points similar to the uh, original XCOM and Xenonauts as well as in yeah you have a limited amount of actions that you can do during a character's quote unquote turn selection right. your character is currently selected but in the game you will control and control several characters to select one you need to only click on them you can also select the character by clicking on their tab uh, da, da, da. Double clicking on a character's tab will send the camera on him and switch floors to the floor they are currently on. Da, 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 da. Oh. Uh, you can select several characters by left clicking and dragging the selection frame, also with control. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is. It gave a name. It's train. Just trainee. <laughs> okay. Yep. I'm a bit curious, what is the game about? Yeah, it's set in World War II, and the introduction gave a bit of an idea, because it seems that we're dealing with freaking Nazi super weapons again. There are four movement modes, running, walking, crouching, and prone. First uh, part of training is running. To change the movement, you press on the change movement button, showing a un soldier in uniform, selecting your run mode, so running person. On the sub menu, also select by Z. Okay. Of course, since this is a strategy, this game involves strategy, uh, there will be a lot of button works for now. And yeah. Goes the fastest. Strafing. In addition to the four movement modes, there is a, sp a special modification to movement called Strafe. This special movement allows characters to move while keeping their eyes in the predetermined location, uh, the, the direction. This movement mode can be toggled on and off by pressing the strafe uh, button, third in the second row. However, a character can only stra uh, use strafe when walking or crouching. Uh, yeah, because it's a bit uh, difficult to, <laughs> to strafe when you're prone. You'd be rolling over at that point. If the pass in front of you, change your movement mode to walk, then press the strafe button. Move your character to the end of the passage, then open the door. Okay. Uh, that one, and then that. Okay. Let's see, it can be. Yep, let's just remove that as well to make it easier. And that's, that's the one. Okay. And there he goes, just shuffling sideways. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll be dealing with. We can deal with enemies in both. Turn-based and real-time yeah, modes, I believe. Uh, crouching. Crouching a character can move under some types of obstacles. To change the movement mode, 
already seen that. Uh, also with C. Make less noise when crouching, but move slower, as in all games. I try to get to the arrow. Okay. Now we can turn the strafe off. Crouch on. And... Uh, uh, okay, why was it? <laughs> I'm guessing this arrow has a bit of a bigger hitbox than we thought. There we go. Prone. Uh, can move under various obstacles such as barbed wire. Uh, prone button. Also V. Okay, so we have Z, uh, C, and V. Then X is probably just for walking. So let's test that. Yeah, that's crouching prone. Okay. Simple enough. Just having all four of them in a row really helps. Jumping down, your ju character can jump down into a ditch or jump down from a roof or a window. However, your character will receive damage if he jumps down more than three meters. The first floor. Jump down, click on the place you want to reach. Jump down into the ditch. Okay. Get back to walking. And take a leap. Also climb. There probably be a little... Oh, climbing continued. Your character can also climb over a fence, but you cannot stand on it. To climb over the fence, just click on, on the other side. Okay. Similar uh, to how that... he climbed over earlier on this side. Yeah, and he makes sense he can't stand on the fence. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> he vanished for a second there. Because <laughs> he technically went into the second floor, or first floor. I still find it annoying how to deal with that. Like... In some places, the first floor is the ground floor. In other places, it's the yeah first floor up. Uh, ladders. One of the most basic things in gaming ever. If you can't figure out a ladder, <laughs> I'd be worried about what else you can't figure out. Yeah, there, I think I've seen some games that messed up uh, ladder functions, where it was a struggle to even use a ladder. Yeah. Moving training is over, proceed to the next to your shooting range. Okay, so it seems like everything is just one continued level here. Might as well make him run. It's more of a... let's take a stroll simulator at the moment. <laughs> uh, slot. Uh, so welcome to the shooting range. A cold pistol was added to your quick slot. Central area. It, uh, activated and activated. Now your character is holding a colt in his hand. Both slots represent quick access items and they can be switched freely during battle. Also similar to Xenonuts and actually, yeah, I think the original XCOM didn't have quick slots like this. At this time, your second slot is empty. Move your character. Yep, there he, he got pulled out his pistol. Let's remove your roof. And that's a big ass safe. I think the better word for those is a vault. Okay. To shoot at the target, just point at it and click. When you point at the target, you will see the probability to hit it and the amount of action points you need to spend to perform the action. You can also click on the attack button, first in the upper row, or press A, and then click the target. After shooting, as well as after any offensive action, the game will switch into turn-based mode. Now shoot at the target until you hit it. Okay. I think, I think that's it's still a save, but... Let's say this, if you were to combine it with four more in size, it definitely will become a vault. <laughs> Let's see. The game, in turn-based mode, the game is now in turn-based mode. All combat in the game will take place in this mode during turn... Okay, so there, there is no... Oh. Okay, I got it partially wrong then. As long as you're moving unassaulted, uh, you'll, uh, you can move around in real time. When it gets into combat, it goes turn-based. During your turn, you can oh, perform sense. actions with all of your characters. Almost all actions in turn-based mode cost various amounts of action points. When your character runs out of action points, you can press the end of turn button to return the game to the computer AI. After that, your new turn will begin and all characters' AP will be restored. Yeah. And our, our guy is absolutely terrible with the pistol and 13%. Though, is it the... Uh... XCOM logic? Uh, his out of AP, end of turn. No enemies, so we can just continue. Oh, he, he is getting better with... The, oh, he needed to reload. It's also, of course, takes... Just get a freaking hit, you dumbass. 
I'm pretty sure we have to hit it before we can continue. Now it's 16. Let's have you crouch. That should help with aiming. 18, that is better, but still not enough. Come on, get a hit in. There we go, finally. After <laughs> emptying a, a clip and a half in it. You successfully hit the target. Now it's time to try shooting in the SMG. So machine gun, proceed to the next part of the shooting range where you'll find an SMG lying on the table. Notice that your character must see the SMG or the table for you to see it. You can pick up, up the gun or any object from the table or anywhere by clicking on it and it will be placed in the inventory as long as there is room for it. You can also press the Alt key to show the names of all retrievable objects. You can and then click on the name of the object to pick it up. Oh, it's an MP42 or MP40 Mark II. But yeah, as like it said, we can't see it at the moment because our character can't see it. I have so much memories of an XCOM now. Just for you have 95% chance to hit. <laughs> I yeah, I believe there's and a recently famous picture of that. Left with XCOM 2, that the, one of the uh, enemies is straight up getting the gun, uh, the bell of the gun shoved in their face, and it's still only a 95%. <laughs> like, literally impossible to dodge. Yeah. yeah, and if they somehow dodge. As you can see, the MP42 was placed in your second slot. Uh, you need to activate it by clicking on the slot. All projector weapons in the game have several shooting modes. There are six in total. Snapshot, aimed shot, careful shot, sniper shot, short burst, and long burst. Uh, to change the shooting mode, prove the change shooting mode button. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Select the appropriate mode. Each mode has a shortcut and quick access. Now shoot at the target. Okay. So we activate it. Pull it out. And this is the one. I yeah, that's... Short burst and long burst. And well, it's an automatic weapon, so let's have some 2% hit. Okay, just crouch again, get some ability. Wait, what about the volume? <laughs> and through sheer numbers, he managed to hit it once. Okay. You can find goodies in various containers. There's one such container nearby. You will not know where. Either there is something in a container and you open it in order uh, to, to, to click on it. Once you can see the items inside, pick them up. Okay. End of turn. Get up. And go loot. It so still somewhat counts as, as being in turn-based. Repair weapon for shooting. The rifle that you picked up is in your inventory. To shoot with the rifle, you will need to place in one of the slots. Also notice that the rifle is empty. You need to reload it. To do this, press the reload button, or well, when a weapon is empty and you try to shoot, you automat you, the yeah, the command changes to um, the reload button. And I forgot to start the timer. Uh, start it anyways now. Just get a little bit extra, 15 minutes. Uh, shoot the last target. It's far greater range than the previous one. Rifles can shoot longer distance with increased uh, in your precision to further increase your probability of hitting, select careful shots. Okay. Uh, where is our inventory? There. Okay. And then we put it over there. And we don't have... We don't have ammo for it, but there is ammo in there. It was a bit hard to see, but you can just about see it there. Come on, dude, pick it up. There we go. We're, was that multiple? That was multiple, okay. Uh, and turn, reload, get into position, crouch, and it's currently on snapshots, aim shots, careful shot. And <laughs> I like that it shows a, a can on the snapshots, a pack of cards or something on the <laughs> aimed, and the cigarettes on the third. Basically, each one being smaller to hit. Yeah. Okay, AP is in red, so we don't have enough. Also shown here, so end turn. Okay, shooting trying complete. You have successfully completed your training. Last trip step is a shoot out in the next building with live targets. Proceed to the next target range. Okay, that can't go well. Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, running time. Get moving. Live uh -huh. targets? 
Uh, live rounds. Uh, how do we get out of... How do we get out of turn-based mode? It's not that, no. Yep. Come on, dude, get up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to have him shuffle all the way over. <laughs> up, and he's out now. Okay, open up the door. Hey, okay, turn around. Final stage of your training is about to begin. Hmm? Continue. I can tell later. Okay. You will participate in, uh, in live fire combat against several enemies at the training range, which have been filled with various obstacles. Beware, your adver adversaries have weapons and will use them. After the first offensive action is taken, the game will switch to turn-based. All combat will take. You can pick up and use any weapons your adversaries drop. Okay. So, yeah, it is just kill or be killed, apparently. F5 to quick save. F8 to load. Okay, so yeah. let's get in. Right. I'm not saying, uh, to be honest, it, these are safe, but what counts as a vault is, well, a vault is basically, basically not a, it's basically it has a room instead, okay, if so I remember right. I will mean, uh, look yeah. this up at some yeah, point. Vaults are, vaults are typically considered more, yeah, rooms. Yeah. So these ones supplies. are still safe, even though they are huge. And you should probably not trip them on your feet. Quick save. Get in. And let's see. We can hear that someone is there. So let's slow down. And that apparently... Apparently it already counts as us being in combat. So you are not going up there. We are moving over there. We got interrupted by seemingly nothing. I'm not seeing any enemies. Okay. Reload your gun. And turn. Oh, someone took a shot at us. From all the way over there. And this one is moving in. Okay, switch to that. Should be free to just swap between weapons. And we move forwards a little bit. Armed civilian. Okay. Let's see. 59 chance to hit. 59 chance to hit. Just unload. And that's one down. Okay. And I, I, yeah, the don't question is the training course. Yeah, in real life, a thing like this would not fly in the absolute slightest. Okay, move over there. We spot a target, or... There he is. Okay. We didn't see him earlier. 2% chance to hit. Wait, is this the Mafia? It could be. Okay. And turn... And he's bleeding from his wounds. And he didn't actually take a shot back. Okay. Is that the last of them? And turn. Nope, there is still someone over there. Climbing out of the trenches. That's a bad idea. And trying to get a shot at us is an even worse one. So there we go. Uh... Come on, what's... <laughs> It's just going to turn out into a comedy shootout and... Oh, hello! One's nearby. Okay, we still have a good amount in the clip... In the MP40. Okay. And turn. It'd probably help if I'd move back into a bit more cover, but this is just... Tutorial and the... These people's aim just absolutely sucks. <laughs> okay. That this one. is a revolver, ain't he? Nope. Okay, just be just shuffling out of here. Okay, 100% chance to hit. And 
turn. Okay, I was I was ready for that to miss. Yeah, yeah, it. <laughs> the aim is just absolutely horrendous. Okay, reload. And at this range, yeah, we can hit with basically anything. It's him gone. Still not enough to do anything else. So this guy gets one last turn to fail. Okay. Swap to this. Yeah, I'm definitely turning... I'll probably turn how this goes around because I'm moving the mouse right now. And that is probably going to annoy me heavily. Okay. Hello there. Hello. And goodbye. Now that should be it. That is it. I don't think we'll be able to steal this guy's hat. Okay. Uh, objectives. No real objectives at the moment. And we missed some ammo that was <laughs> laid out over there. Okay. Anyone else here? Oh, there is one more. In the trench. Okay. Then let's, let's just get close. Oh, and he's taking offense. Okay, coming up behind us. All right. Crouch. Move back. And fill him. There we go. Training is complete. Okay. Now we should just be able to leave. Yeah. And let's finally get into the freaking camp. Oh, we. Okay, there's an Axis campaign and an Allies campaign. Let's see. Da -da -da. Play a German, Italian, or Japanese hero and characters from other Axis countries. A US, British, or Russian hero. And let's go with the Axis. And let's go on normal. I'm. I'm <laughs> Okay, if we do stream this, I get the feeling we might ask for an easy difficulty. Okay, we get to select one of these. Okay, uh, let's go with a British male engineer. Fuel engineer has high intelligence and accordingly high non-combat skills. Uh, usually he is the most uh, multifunctional member of the team. His talents include leading the team through a minefield safely, blowing up or disarming objects, repairing weapons and upgrading them, opening locked doors, etc. Yeah, it isn't just combat that you'll be doing with this. Russian male soldier. Soldiers are the core fighting force of the team. A soldier has more strength, dexterity and therefore more vitality points. He specializes mainly in automatic weapons and stationary machine guns and can handle these tasks better than anyone else. Then we have Grenadier. A Grenadier's main skills are handling enemy heavy weapons and grenade throwing. If you need to destroy an enemy pillbox using a cannon or bazooka, he is your man. Usually a Grenadier is stronger than a soldier, but has less dexterity. And okay, it's not just uh, classes and gender sw uh, with a different gender. Female Sniper. A Sniper is long range marksman. They have a very uh, good eye and their skills lies in patient, long distance enemy animation. However, low strength makes it easy for the opposition to kill him, or her in this case. Uh, if she's hit by a couple of bullets, he, uh, she'll never survive. The mission to eliminate an important enemy officer can be completed much easier with the sniper's help. Usually snipers have high dexterity and quite, are quite observant. And then we have scout. A scout has high dexterity and strength. They handle me. Why is with, what's with the flashing all of a sudden? It's uh, very good at hiding. Scout's role for the team is to handle tasks like neutralizing a sentry quietly, getting in, in the enemy territory stealthily, and stealing important documents. And we have Medic. Medics have high intelligence. They can dispense medicines and treat wounds better and faster than anyone else. Weapons-wise, Medics are usually not very good, and due to a lack of strength, prefer handguns. War is a war. Nobody is safe from a stray bullet. If the Medic's job is to get... It, it is the Medic's job to get soldiers going again as soon as possible. Let's start with the soldier, since well, that's the most e that's the easiest way to start. Uh, let's just move on. Oh, this mission has gone to hell. 
Every single one of my men is dead, except you. Oh, and I am seconds away from joining them. You'll be fine, Colonel. I'll get you out of here. We're too far behind enemy lines. The Germans are on top of us. The documents we acquired will never reach headquarters. Ugh. We have all died in vain. That was a weird way to spell German. They're near. We have to get moving. No. I will only get you killed. Ugh. You have a better chance of returning with the documents alone. We are too important for heroics. I'm not going to leave you to die here. I'll, co I'll cover your retreat. Go now. That's... Good. As next in command, I say we're going together. And that's an order. What? Come on. Objectives and way to get the clues. By pressing the objective button, you can access brief information about the mission zone and the number of clues still to be found. Okay, need to know anything about clues. It's not like we're playing Sherlock Holmes all of a sudden, I hope. Not all of the clues captured provide you with crucial information right away. Most documents can be read right away, but to get the information from a friendly or hostile person, you need to protect or capture that person first. To capture a person, you need to knock them out, but not kill, and carry them unconscious from a mission zone. The conclusion, cl uh, conclusion clues are almost never given in the mission zone. To get them, you need to retrieve all of the required clues from the mission zone. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing by that they mean pick them up. Okay, uh, now how the hell do we get out of this? Objectives, clear area of enemy forces. Okay, then it might be better if I put him down so I can actually use my gun. Yeah. Which is a stand mark too. Okay. Also, I have to say this. I did not like the talking animation there with just two heads looking at each other like that. That somehow just looked awful. Yeah, but they are limited yeah, technology of the time. Line of yeah, sight, enemy more... scene. Okay. You want to see 180 degrees in the way they are facing. When one of your characters is in the enemy, the enemy icon will appear on screen, signifying their location. If the enemy is off screen, it will appear on the side of the screen closest to their direction. Okay. This is going to be a walk in the park. It's me! The face down there with the name, that looks just fine. Yeah, just a bit up closer looks just bad. Yeah, like, like I said, this. Mm. they should just remove the two heads talking to each other like that. They should just remove it. Okay. Note that the location of the figure icon does not guarantee that the enemy is exactly there. This is on hearing enemies instead of seeing them. Hold your fire. I, mean, I have this encounter under control. I mean, do give it praise for the otherwise, especially when the game is old, it does look good otherwise. I think we have some spotted. I, like, I, I kind of like it, the shot it has otherwise. Yeah, I really like this game. When, oh, how did you see me? Hmm. Attack modes, weapons in this game have more than one. Yeah, we already got that during the tutorial. Uh, you got it. Okay. And we can take an... Another... Okay, that's a bit odd that he can see him when he turns a bit more. Yeah, probably best to keep uh, crouched like this. Yeah, we are at 30 minutes, but we are just in with this. So let's give it a little bit more because I, I was dumb and forgot the freaking timer. Yep. Come on, dude. Sometimes you need a little bit of luck to get the job done. Or just shoot a Nazi in the gut. Yeah, also got that during tutorial. Or let the loot just roll towards us. <laughs> okay, let's go grab that. Uh, and turn. They are taking shots at us, but I only saw one around there. 
Maybe if I move up. Yeah, I can see one of them. We are not getting a hit on that one from this distance. So get the mouser. Oh, interrupt. Yeah, yeah, they... Like in XCOM, I think you can... Uh, you can... Uh, <clears throat> you can take snap... Yeah, you can take interruption shots at enemies. If uh, you have enough action points left for it. Okay, they didn't get another shot in, so let's just keep getting stuff so we can actually return fire on them. Okay, you are over there. We can take a blind shot. It won't help too much. But for now... Uh, oh, hello! You are a lot closer. But I don't know. Something's wrong. I await revised orders. Oh, that's a guaranteed hit. Let's see. Heavily wounded. Not enough for another. So end turn. And, okay. Hans's ammo range is stucking. But then again, this is the first mission, so of course they're going easy on us. Okay, we did lose sight of the other one over there. Unless that was him and he was charging us. Uh, not enough points to do anything else. Let's see. There were three that were running up on us. Let's see. What does this guy have on him? Or, oh, I thought it. I thought it meant to loot him, not to <laughs> pick him up for a date. Draw okay. the soul, you good boy. Okay, just let's grab these clips. I'm going to put you with a tea bag, him. <laughs> and we can't see what this done. guy dropped. Oh, and it rolled downhill as well. Because, okay, right. This yeah, is we are downhill. In the park. Oop, miss. Uh, also a miss. <laughs> we can't swap position. So this is just going to turn out into a bit of a shootout. At when we don't have to reload, that is. Okay. Um, can we... Nope, not with that. Just a snapshot, also not with that. I believe the stats of our characters can improve over time. Also similar to XCOM. So, if you take enough shots at the Nazi, you will... Like, oh, that was a headshot, I think. Ow! Oh, he's still so Yeah. Just take enough shots and your character will eventually get better with it. Progress. There we go. And his helmet went rolling downhill. Oh, we're all on a hill. Yeah, we, we can't lower the camera any more than this. Okay. Get up. Or end turn. There's nobody else here. Swap the run modes. Grab as much loot as we can. Yep. Because... Uh, right yeah. Back. Okay. Mm. Uh, item management is a part of this game as well. Again, also similar to XCOM. Ba basically, this game is X XCOM with a real-time mode between combats. Uh, switching floors, already saw that. And... Hold your oop. fire. I have this encounter under control. Okay, now we've got an ambush. There's this... Oh, no. That was a lot more gunfire than I thought that would be. Crouch. Look in that direction. And no, no one in sight. So just move as far as you can. Stationary weapons, some characters can find stationary weapons. These weapons cannot be moved, but have great firepower to use such weapons. Simply click on it. Okay. Uh, oh, oh yeah, we're definitely getting on the freaking machine gun here. <laughs> just move as far as you can. And turn. Might have been better if we ran, <laughs> run through it. Okay, then he is going to shoot, I presume. Yep. Yeah. Wounds and death, damage to characters, bullet hits, grenades, explosions cause wounds, wounds reduce the VP, the vital points of a character that uh, reduce the zero character become unconscious. An unconscious character can be saved by carrying him out of the mission zone. If the wounds of a character are massive, then this character may die. Wounds can be bandaged successfully using the medical skill. It's smart. Oh, I should be all right. I will not okay. recover quickly. The impact 
was major. Yeah, just get on this thing. And oh. Okay, I thought it'd be a bit more than that, but no, it's just uh, more target practice showing up. Something's okay. wrong. I await revised orders. Now, what is wrong is that you can't aim for shit. Well, just spray the people. You know, just spray them down. He is out of sight. He is moving over there, I presume. Oop. It smarts, but I should be all right. There's I one down. Dying. And it also broke the fence. Yeah, there are, there are destructible environments in this game. But now we have the problem that we can't see the others. There you go, and back. Welcome back. Hello, Let's see thank you, thing. thank you. Uh, let's get out of this thing because we don't have line of sight. Look that way. There he is. This soldier will meet his maker very oh, yeah. soon. Well, see, I have a weird, very old Fallout 1 or 2 feeling from this game for some reason. Okay. Something's wrong. I await revised orders. Yeah, and turn. It, it might be partial due to it has an inventory and how you just dis it displays weapons down there. Something's wrong. I await revised kind of old orders. School. Okay, seems that someone is an even worse shot than our character. Uh, oh, now he spotted that guy coming in. Let's put Results a round for him. Wire. And turn. Interrupt, because he appeared, but we don't have enough action points to do anything. Oh. Okay, just Luckily, freaking walk just up to try and me. execute me. There was another in there was them getting interrupted because oh, um healthy, heavily wounded. We don't have enough to take two shots with those, but we can shoot this one multiple times. So there's one ready for burial. And then you Hmm. That's not like me. And there we go. Yeah, of course, rifles are not that good at uh, close range. Now, can we get... We don't have enough points to get back into the gun. And I don't think we'd have line of sight on him. Now, let's take a look. If we don't have enough... If we don't have a line of sight on him with this... We do not have a line of sight, but... And we... Wish I could, but it's not gonna happen. He's just out of the firing range. Okay, get out of that thing. And 30% chance to hit. Let's just unload. Hello. Okay, fuck that fence in particular, currently. <laughs> okay. I think That's you awkward. might want to step away with that rifle. And is that them done? Okay, I think there is still one in there, because we were shot at from inside there. So let's switch to the first, crouch, and move forward. There he is. This soldier He's just been hiding in here. Very soon. Oh, it's, it's an officer. Okay. Uh, and turn. And he's going into hide even more. Okay. Uh, remove the roof so we can actually see him and we'll target him. Okay, that did a bit more than expected. <laughs> Carrying a body. Continue without me. And uh, yeah, like I said earlier, destructible environments. <laughs> okay, we should be getting out of combat with this. Yep. Running mode, and just grab all that we can, and against 1910. Okay. 
The name sounds familiar. I believe that is a rifle. We have more cartridges over here. And then, oh, it's a pistol. Okay. Again, yeah, I've never heard of that pistol name before. Just loot all that we can. Uh, do we have? We have some space left. Uh, arrange. Okay, that that is arrange buttons are always useful. Even though some game some games these days Progress. still don't use uh, those. We this load don't have is space for that. I can take. Yeah, or when they do use them, some of them are very good. But then there are some games where the arrange button is well, all all, all terrible just. Okay, just grab all the ammo that we can. Because I think I forgot. I know there has been one this game where more than I can take. Uh, the arrange button were more of a hindrance in one game, but I forgot which it was. Okay. Just run back, grab this guy, and then we get out of there, and then we'll move on to the next game. Yeah, th this game, I I put on a very high chance that it will get streamed eventually. And of course, since we're carrying someone else, we're slowed down a lot. Carry commander to the uh, <clears throat> to the motorcycle. Hmm. Though I have been thinking about possibly adding uh, another thing to the sort of schedule. That would be not to stream a game, but to still play a game and record it, but more for YouTube to. Uh, for games that would need more editing to cut out dead time and such, like with Moonlighter, to uh, yeah shorten down the sections where you actually need to you know, sell stuff in the shop. Yeah, that is a good idea. The base. The base is the place where your squad resides. The base consists of several premises that each have their own different and specific purpose. To move around the base, click on the door. The view will automatically switch to the corresponding room. Click on the door at the left to enter the room where you manage squad personnel, uh, sick bay on the left, top left, uh, armory top right, uh, bottom door to exit and ac uh, access the world map. Okay. And of course the icons help a lot with that. And let's check in here for, oh, hello there. Characters can get proper medical care and restore their health in the sick bay. Medic, click on the medic to get medical treatment. I believe this is this might be the same character that we saw in the in character selection. Captain Norris, or would you prefer to be called Doctor Norris? Actually, I'd prefer to be called Susan. Okay, Susan, I'm the squad leader of Special Operations SE2, and though I never expected to be saying such a thing, I hope we won't be seeing too much of each other over the coming weeks. I know who you are, not by name, of course. Apparently, nobody does. Please, don't feel the need to be bleeding in order to visit. I'll keep that in mind, Captain Susan. However, if you are in need of my care, just give me a word, and I will attend to you personally. I'll keep that in mind as well. Uh, okay, uh, let's, let's check, take a quick check around for any other characters that we could have selected. Uh, he, he was You're not selectable. Uh, the H, T, what, yeah, where are these going? Okay. And here we have personnel manage management room. You can recruit and dismiss your squad members here. Yes, yeah. Oh, again, like XCOM, we can ex yeah, recruit soldiers. Not too sure if they will have too many with a personality of their own, like important characters. Uh, we'll probably find most of those. Okay, why can't we go there? I'm curious. Uh, yeah, we'll have to see how this goes when we would eventually get to streaming it, but I, I have to say from my memory and this, I do like it. Uh, uh, is this interesting? Do, uh, again, the face head to head uh, animation are, are rough and it felt like it gave the voice acting a very rough look. 
region of interest, the region will appear on the map only ever as it leads one area of interest in this region. The blinking region is the region that contains the area of interest that is considered by analytical department as the most appropriate target. Uh, flag designates the base of the squad, left click on any region to travel to that region. Okay. I meant to go more to the menu, uh, but then I, uh, I pressed the wrong button for that. Oh yeah, let's exit this one and move on to the other. I might have to tinker around a bit with that game because it was only working in full screen, so I couldn't actually see chat there for a moment, which is why I have it open on here as well, on the second screen. Thank you, dear. And, oh, blood, that, game, that game took a lot of time. Yeah, I, I, we gave it about 45 minutes now. So we'll just have to see if one of the others goes short or not. Yeah. Bloody heck. Oh, and don't forget Our the screen share. sovereign world yeah. thrived under the guidance of the trade order. And for centuries we enjoyed peace and prosperity. The ways of war had been long forgotten. Then the aliens came. Despite fleeing from their own destruction, they overran our meager defenses, enslaved our people, and plundered our worlds. Desperate and unable to mount a resistance on their own, many worlds ceded their authority, transforming the Order into the Traitor Emergency Coalition. United under a single banner, we finally stood a fighting chance. And our vast commercial fleet was slowly retooled into a shield against the alien advance. It seemed our fortunes were turning as we mounted a counter-offensive. Such hope was short-lived. The long-vanished deviants, now calling themselves the Advent, returned more powerful and twisted than we could have imagined. Many undefended worlds fell to their corruption before we could redirect forces from the alien front. Caught between the advent's revenge and the alien onslaught, we were forced to dig in. We built up mighty defenses to outlast our enemies. And eventually, we even sought peace. Now, after 30 years of constant warfare, our alliances are breaking down. The coalition is split between those who would withdraw and those who would lash out. Rebellion has even started to fracture the unity of the Advent. I'm sure they still want to destroy us or one another. is becoming increasingly desperate. Though strangely, their outcasts may end up being our salvation. Especially if the warning is true. Okay, I'm pretty sure I never got to see that uh, intro in the one time of this game that I tried it before. <laughs> uh, that puts a lot more context on things. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is Sins of a Solar Empire with the Rebellion DLC or standalone. I'm not entirely sure because I don't, I'm not fam too familiar with this uh, franchise, maybe. No, am I? I? I heard of the name, but besides that, I know nothing. Oh, that's of course, because this is a 4X-like game, there are a lot of tutorials. Let's see, basic gameplay, basic logistics, advanced interface, advanced logistics, advanced defense, advanced diplomacy. Let's do the basic gameplay one and leave it at that. 
Yeah, if you thought the for the if you thought Silent Storm had a lot to go to get your to wrap your head around, this is well proving. Yeah, this is proving it you wrong. Let's see, welcome to a sense of a Solar Empire Rebellion. This tutorial introduces the basics of the user interface and core game and play concepts. You can get information about most objects by moving the mouse over them. Try now. Okay, that's a frigate factory, 4,000 hull, 6 armor. Notice that the object's type, ownership, and other vital stats are deployed, uh, displayed in its info card, which is displayed on the right. Okay, and that is a TND Maganov. Uh, oh, that is the TND Maganov. It's an Akin class battle cruiser. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not too well, too well versed in RTS games to really get everything you know, on this at the moment. And well, we're a bit. We're already a bit shorter on time. So let's. The ember tree on the left of the screen is collapsible. Uh, da -da -da. There's a collapsible display of the ships and structures orbiting any planet where you have something selected. Okay. By default, it uh, displays plants in their most expanded form with ships and structures sorted into groups beneath the planet. This is the capital ship. They are large weapon warships that anchor your fleets. As they gain experience, they become incredibly powerful. Objects can be selected by left clicking on them in the main view. Units can also be selected by clicking on their icons. Select the cap holder ship. Okay. Notice that units show their empire their icon above them. When selected, they have a light grey bra yeah, black ugh, background on the in the empire tree. I can yeah I can only sort of see that because the the chatty program is overlaid over it. Also observe that the action grid on the bottom right contains actions and management options the capital ship is capable of. We'll look into this further in just a for duty. Oh. Despite their power, the expense makes capital ships relatively rare. Smaller ships like cor uh, corvettes, frigates and cruisers make up the core of your empire's fleets. Here are a few basic frigates to accompany your capital ship. Yep. Got a job Multi -select. for me? Multi-select. What now? Give the order. Uh, Got a job for me? Reporting in. What now? Okay, I'm doing exactly what I want. Give the but order. Multiple objects can be selected at once by drag selecting over them with the left mouse button. Try this now with all your ships included in the section. Where do you need me? Yeah, there we go. We don't have this capital as well. Good. If you want to send to the. Uh, the camera's focus on an object, you can do so by holding control and then left clicking on the objects. Okay. A better view of the environment. Scroll the mouse wheel down to zoom out. Try zooming out now and Okay, that zooms out quite a bit. Reset by holding mouse button and moving the mouse. Or rotate. And uh, Okay, is I don't think that this has a no, that that's not uh, Earth. I think it, it has some. Wait, this it, has a bit of a resemblance to Europe, but there's parts. If this was Europe, then there are parts that are underwater as well as extra bits that have gained land somehow. Hmm. Yeah, the, but there is continental shift. Yeah. I, hmm. I think uh, the continent moves, uh, port of land, uh, rise and fall. So I have seen bits on that, but I don't think the, you'd end up with something like this. Because then this would be Africa connected to South America, uh, where, yeah, at the, the South Pole. Well, that is kind of correct if I recall right, but there has been talk about the. Africa and South America may rejoin at some point. No, hmm. wait, what? Yeah, I don't think that would happen in our lifetime, though. Yeah, that would that would take literally centuries to millennia to happen because I believe continental drift is happening at only like a few millimeters per year. So, so to end up this, you'd have to be millennia later. 
yeah, not simple millennials for for them to connect to back to Africa and South America. That would be a few million years. Yeah. Let's see. All planets have a gravity well, which is an area around them where gravity is too strong for uh, starships to phase jump to other planets. Notice the faint ring around uh, denoting its edge. The red line here. It feels like my mouse is not moving as much as I'd want it to. It, you know, the mouse sensitivity is low on this. Do, do we, are we sure this is Earth? Yeah, we don't know. We, I'm not seeing a name anywhere. Yeah, yeah, it might not be and a tour. Terran Planet right, Capital. Right. Okay, so it All might right. be Earth under a different name. And I don't I think it's uh, not Earth, just a Earth-like planet. So that will explain a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you may also notice the faint gray phase lane uh, branching out from your planet's gravity well. Phase lanes marks the path of travel to other nearby stellar bodies. That is over there. Let's see. Ships can be given move orders by left clicking the move button, and then cliff clicking the destination. Find this now by ordering your to move to the point where the phase lane uh, intersects this gravity well. Okay. Ahead slow. Notice that units display the orders, and you know, the order they are currently executing with a pulsing border around the unit's icon. Uh, I'm not seeing that. Uh, in their action grids and with an order description in their info cards. Okay, running a bit stuttery. So hmm. uh, I don't have task manager up to see if it's draining a lot or not. Hmm. Okay. How old is this game? Uh, less old than the other one. Units can also be issued a contact-specific order with the right mouse button. In most situations, it will issue a movement or follow order. When used on enemy uh, units and structures, it will order your units to attack. So let's explore one of the capital ship's other features. Why are they still going? I thought I told them to go here, not to go all the way out there. And Okay, now I can't, e now I can't even select. Okay. It uh, can also act as mobile hangars for squadrons of smaller strike, strike craft. Squadron limit is different uh, yeah, by a capital ship and increases the capital ship gains experience. To manage the capital ship squadron, uh, click the squadron man. Okay. Not liking this game too, so much too far. Then again, I'm, like I said, I'm not very good at strategy games, especially real time ones. Like, we've. We streamed and finished Impossible Creatures, but that was mostly because I just really liked the game. And it wasn't, like, really complex or anything. Two, two types of strike craft, bombers, heavy weapons to damage larger. Well, armored targets, fighters, fa very fast, well suited for attacking bombers. Build a squadron. Okay, so they build those on their own. But, uh, Capital ships continue to produce strike craft at no cost until all their assigned squadrons are full. However, strike craft build more slowly when the capital ship is in combat. Okay. So you can adapt what they have mid, well, mid fight and between fights. You may have noticed that unlike your capital planet, the other planets in this system currently do not show their planet type when in icon form and show no information on their uh, info cards. Uh, not really seeing that. I'm talking. I think they're talking about the the Empire Tree up here. Uh, whatever. These details, in addition to which planets they have phase link to, remain hidden until we have scouted them. Take your fleet and investigate the nearby planet Where by right clicking need? in the main view. Okay. Yeah, I'm not We're getting by it stuttering so much. All it hands. seems to be at Prepare random as well. And this is just a tutorial in a very limited area. That can't be good. Whoa! Okay. Maybe... Phase jump nope. complete. Let's see. Maybe... Let's... Uh, so we end this one halfway through? Because it seems like it's having issues of its own. Yeah, it might be... Might be a good idea. And it seems like this is one of those games with probably easier to... Record off screen. Yeah, if we would even do that, because yeah, 
What now? It looks like it would be a good game for the people who actually like this type of game, uh, which I am not. And well, this defective for some reason, it is just Give the order. visibly stuttering and lagging. So yeah, let's call it early on this one. I, it seems like a solid game, but yeah, not something for streaming really. We're really not something for us to stream. Two, yeah. Reset the timer. And this game, I need to swap from full screen capture to window capture. Okay. Now it should be getting caught soon. A specific one. Uh, Skulls of the Shogun. And then to stream it to Drake here. Oh, well, okay. Why the hell is it so big all of a sudden now? That, that wasn't the one I was aiming for. Game capture. Resize. Uh, okay, it did not record like that earlier. So, yeah. This is Skulls of the Shogun, a bona fide edition. A bona fide edition. However, you're supposed to say that word. And, <laughs> yeah. This one will also be a sort of strategy as game, but a lot more simplified. I didn't mean to bring that up. Uh, yeah, as you can see, this game is quite a lot different from Sins of a Solar Empire. And <laughs> like you could guess from the in this the second half of that <laughs> cutscene, a lot more silly as well. Let's see details. Okay, beat level without losing any allies, at least four allies still alive. Uh, beat level with at least two, okay. Let's get started. And also let me move up this the screen a bit because the game is currently running in windowed mode. Uh, but yeah, for some for some reason that when you put something like this in windowed mode, it always still keeps the bar at the top of the screen. Even when yeah, full screen windowed mode is a thing these days. Um, then again, this game is not as old as the previous ones. But still a bit, like 2015, maybe? Uh, what is this place? Am I? Uh, okay, I need to click that. Dead. All right, fella, line to the afterlife forms on the right. Let's keep it moving. We need to click their speech bubbles. I am no fella. You will address me as either General Akimoto or the Great General Akimoto. Oh yeah, right. Sure, fella. And I'm Emperor Fancy Pants, the fourth of the Magical Mushroom Kingdom. Now get in line or I'll dish out more of this. You dare assault me? Dirty Ronin, you asked for it. Hey, Izu Isuzu. Yeah, this guy counterattacked me over here. Is round one? Player level one, level one. F Click the selected character to order. Okay. WSD to move, arrow keys or hold the left mouse button to move. 
You can also double click to move to a chosen position. Okay. And it shrinks as we go. And, uh, he, he's actually actively cowering. Uh, press to attack once you see the enemy gleam white. And, well, I would say uh, fill their pants, but they don't have anything to fill their pants with anymore. And what is this? Click to confirm. Is that an attack range or something? Hey, did you see that? The new guy is some fighting him. What do you say his name was? Akamoto? There's an air of strength and honor about him. Plus that sweet stash. <laughs> the last guy didn't have that. Hey. hey, General Akamoto, wait. We would pledge our swords to you, sir, if you would have us. Yes. Yes, join me, soldiers. Speaking of swords, where's my second sword? He is two... Uh, I'm forgetting that he has two scabbards, but only one sword. Hey, you there. No recruiting. You're in trouble <laughs> getting me, Suzu. I'm probably saying that name wrong, but I'm, I'm generally bad with Japanese and other Eastern names. Give orders to your units every turn. Once orders, you can move the unit and attack if the enemy is in range. Okay, so we can select this guy. Stop this and get back in line, all of you. Oh, yeah. You can order him around. Move around. Attack. Flags show a uni health, unit's health. Black bars and flags show the damage both units will do. Okay. So they will each trade two health to each other. After attacking, you can use up and uh, up any leftover movement. To select a new unit. Tell the current one to wait there. So we, there is a limited amount of... Actions are across all enemies or all units. Uh, right mouse button to select to hold the selected unit in place. Okay, since I've used up my actions for this round, I'll put away my weapon. Everyone else, attack. Okay, then we can select this guy. And move closer. I can't quite reach him. If unit can't attack, use right to hold it there. Okay. Then the Shogun, or the wannabe Shogun. Press, what is that, enter? Either way, we're attacking first. Okay, we can still move away. Okay, much simpler, but pretty good so far. And yeah, that's a lot of charm to it. Yep, and he's coming straight for us, and he's regretting that. <laughs> It's a pleasure to serve you, my lords. Tell me, what is this line they speak of? The line to the four seasons of the glorious afterlife? Come on, we'll show you. Basically, every yet samurai has to wait in line to be judged. Those found worthy are allowed into the first season of the afterlife. Hey, get in line and wait. Who said you could wear your earthly colors? Remove them and get back in line this instant. Great General Akamoto does not take orders, he gives them. <laughs> we keep the order around here. And you're out of line, rogue. Oh, one from behind. Let's show this imposter how we de uh, guards deal with the crazy liars. I'm on it, get behind the rocks, Yoshi. Maybe you'll pr be protected from attack, or at least out of their attack range. <laughs> Using the environment for cover. Alright. And we can immediately go after this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Into the drink. Good shot, boss. So we have environmental effects as well. What? Do you use knockback to push a unit over the ledge and kill them instantly? <laughs> knockback. So that's what the flashing white line indicates whenever I attack. Okay, I didn't actually notice a white line, but I did notice a red and an orange one. Oops, I should probably stop explaining. <laughs> oh yeah, this game is this game has a lot of charm. Click the right mouse button and press pay. Alright. Let's first move him up a bit. And what what is with the Okay, there's an aura. Okay. You're closest. Actually, you you're mounted. So you can get oh. I need to double-click to confirm. 
And just enough. Did it. Yeah, I'm not seeing a white line. This red and orange. Let's see. Okay, he got pushed back a bit, but not enough to the red line. Okay, move the rest up. Rocks are blocking my path. Units cannot attack through obstacles. Uh, you wait there. You move up as well. I'm guessing they're getting a defensive bonus from being near each other. And always good when a game gives you the opportunity to confirm that you're ending your turn. Okay. You... Uh, you move around. Oh. I really like this so far. Yeah. Again, no white... Oh, there, oh, that's white line. Okay, but it's being blocked by your environment. Would it really push him that far back? Well, I think it pushed him to the rock. Yeah, but if the rock wasn't there. Let's see. Is there no honor here? No respect? I'm already general. I was nearly shogun. Tell us about it. They treat us like garbage just because we didn't have masters when we died. Not so Ronin. Indeed, they call us Dirty Ronin. We aren't even allowed in line. Speaking of which, it's just ahead. Oh, and hello. Well, well, welcome to the shores of the dead, fallen wa warrior. <laughs> These are yokai, but what type? I can't actively identify. I recognize them, but I can't put a name on them. Yeah, it, it is a lantern yokai. To yeah. oversimplify it. <laughs> The line for the, for the glorious afterlife starts right here. <laughs> uh, have a wa wa wonderful wait. Approximate wait time from this point <laughs> 512 years. You there, soldier. How long have you been waiting in line? Oh man, I don't know. 20 years, give or take. And he is the very back and he's already waiting 20 years. This, this is madness. No, this is cause of the Shogun. <laughs> I will have my eternal reward and I will have it now. <laughs> okay, got it, sir. I better get going. Sounds like we have a troublemaker in line. <laughs> Listen up, Scruffy. You and your little skeleton crew are gonna need to queue up like every... Insolent dog. Or that Komoto queues for no man. Funny you mentioned that name, because I was just you know, now talking to the, uh, with the real Lord Akamoto. <laughs> what? And he told me to be on the lookout for an imposter. Okay, what the hell is going on here? Guards, it's him. It's the imposter. This ain't good, boss. Finally, a real battle. <laughs> We're having a, we have a peanut gallery looking in. <laughs> Well, uh, Komoto, I believe you. Let me join your cause. Yeah, forget this line. I missed the thrill of battle. Okay, but no getting back in line. 50 rise on Mr. Mustache. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Scrolls shows the current unit, its HP, and... Okay, and some other things. Attack stat, defense stat. Why did it move to the other side all of a sudden? And now back again. They called me Damage Sponge in high school, but I missed that, the rest of them. Let's see, he has five attacks, three armor, and six health. His normal infantry seems to be the same all across. Cavalry is also six health, five attack, and two armor. So more valuable, vulnerable, but it can also move a lot more. And Akamoto is your most powerful unit, but if he dies, your game is over. And we have... Be wary, Lord Akimoto. If you die, it won't be the fiend for us all. Why, why does it keep moving around like that? Pro probably because you moved a mouse over there, so you can you know, interact there so you without the view being obstructed. But I still want to see a bit more of this in detail. Let's see. Six attack, three armor. Let's move the infantry up first. Double click. When two or more allies get close, they form a spirit wall, a barrier that blocks enemy movement and attacks. Okay. 
it is that is going to be useful for positioning like to keep uh, enemies away from us orders remaining this round okay so that's what it was you can only give five orders per round okay. and we sort of wasted one with akamoto unless we can still move him we can still move him okay wait there and one of you come in close so you can move ahead later okay. oh this is a bigger boy okay they are split so we can just single them out at the moment yes okay. Cavalry, no, infantry up. And he will get shoved that way, so let's actually not push him back. Okay, it shows the direction, but not how far they will get knocked back. After attack, you can have. Uh, uh, positioning is key for good strategy, so let's move him back a bit more. Cavalry, try to finish off any injured foes, then use your right move and range to return. Okay. That is the plan. So, just finish him off. Okay, and then we form another lucky shot. Lucky shot, you see, you're top of flesh wound, nothing more. You don't have any flesh left to wound. Well, someone please shut him up. He's already dead, boss. Twice over, in fact. What else can we do? <laughs> someone get over there and eat it. You hear me eat that skull. Wait, what? <laughs> Um, okay, can we even? Eat the skull by left-clicking on it and confirming. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing this counts as uh, skeletal cannibalism. Eating a skull uses up an action, just like an attack. But... They stand together to sport form spirit walls, glowing barriers... Oh, yeah, I, feel, I feel so... Alive. Which they probably shouldn't. Rose. <laughs> Each skull eaten heals that unit 3 HP and boosts their max plus 2. Okay. <laughs> Gonna be sick. <laughs> you don't have anything to <laughs> throw up. Okay, that that is... Is that going to be permanent? Okay. Uh, Akimoto. When you're done, get behind me if you can. We infantry have the strongest defense. I've been in this line 200 years, and this is the first time I've ever seen anyone take on the guards. Let's keep him behind the line here, and move this guy up. There we go. And yeah, this seems a lot more of my type of strategy. Or oh, this escalated quickly, insert the meme here. Yeah, I mean... I mean, it really got out of hand fast. Don't worry, re more reinforcements are on the way. Let's give these dirty Ronin ones for Keep eating those scars. We need all the strength we can muster. If that, if that is permanent, that is going to be very useful. With these infantry, we can make them more tanky. Now they're grouping, so they're becoming more of a threat. Uh, you don't, you literally don't have the stomach for it. <laughs> okay. Please be careful. Yeah, move them back. Okay. Our tanks are injured. So we need to be careful with not getting them attacked by everything. This won't kill this one. Okay. Uh, back in line. Let's see. This guy will probably get killed. Let's see. Can I... Four attack. And this one five attack. <laughs> okay. These guys are strong. But there's also the armor that they have to deal with. Hmm. Okay, let's use one of the cavalry to go in for a hit and run. 
go. Cavalry have the largest movement range off, and they can act and then retreat. Yep. That will still keep him in range of the others. And we, with this one, we can zoom in, kill this one, and get behind the line again. We have still one more left. Let's see, you have five attack, you have five, you have five. And you have four health, you have three health. Let's move you. Actually... Uh, okay, I, I can't pull, move back from... Or can I move back from... I don't think so. Okay. Don't forget about the skulls. <clears throat> yeah. I need to lower the amount of damage that they can deal at the moment. Okay, wait here. And turn. I am putting him in danger now. Oh. oh. Okay, they're actually going for Akimoto. Yeah, if they kill you, yeah. it's game over. And he can get... Oh, he can get just close enough. Okay. Now we need to get some skulls to get these to survive. So you... Maybe I should eat a skull. Yes, you should. Someone eat it. It's good for you. Calcium helps you grow. Okay. Oh, th this is nice. They're standing on top of each other, so they give you options like that. Okay. That's a lot of extra health. And plus three. Okay. Oh, yeah. Plus three health and plus two max health. That was it. Okay. Um, you... Yeah, you stand there, please. You, yeah, you select, get this skull. No, don't wait. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're out. You can act. Uh, but I still need to park you. Okay. You deal deal with this guy. At least damage him. Then... Let's see. Move away. I probably could have just finished him off in one hit with Akamoto. But he can still get to that guy. Hmm. Or this guy. See, I have two orders left. Five damage. Three. Okay. You attack this guy, finish him off, and I, I'm guessing that Akimoto can also eat skulls. Or no, he can't. Okay. Well, I need to actually select him. Okay. Just eat that. And yeah, we're safe from any of our characters getting killed now. Let's still retreat a bit. Just to be safe. Okay. I do hope that our characters get healed afterwards. They have been at between the previous battles. Okay. You... Finish him. Uh, enough. This uprising ends now. Time to squash this little rebellion. Okay, even more. Oh. Click and drag to move the camera. Uh, let's first park you here. My lord, all this death and senseless killing. Don't you see what you're doing? You're getting me excited. <laughs> you want to kill the guy is dead? I'm your Huckleberry. I'll snipe fools from up here with my range attack. Okay. Uh, you don't have too far to move, but you don't really need to, since you can just shoot him from right over there. I'm guessing... I'm not really sure what the orange range is for. I, red obviously seems to be the attack range. Maybe orange is the, uh, how far they can move after. You know, because orange was farther than that. So. He is safe up there, so we can just wait. No, let's see. 
We still have this guy here. Uh, you... There's... I thought there was a skull left here. I was wrong on that. You... can do that without too much difficulty. Then move back for my spirit wall. You... Any damage unit with 3 health or less suffers minus 1 in their attack. Okay. Oh, that's... Okay, that... Hmm. Let's see, can Okay, we can return an order like that. Right. We in okay, so that is good that it can be reversed. Okay. And turn... Then... Still, a bit, still tricky, but uh, not as complex as the other one. Yep, and now time to use the archer. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, now both of these are weakened, and that guy can use health, but he has already been upgraded. Uh, you just say, park your ass there. Let's see. We just fall near on the ground there. Yeah, but actually, let's do this guy. I'm hurt so bad my attack is weakened, but I can still fight. Let me finish off a badly damaged. You instead just eat this and heal yourself up. Now, I am curious if that, those skulls are going to be permanent or not, or if it's just in this round. And let's see. Oh, I feel a little tingly. I wonder if eating one more skull might do something crazy. Yeah, the third skull is the charm. Eat another, the next chance it gets. Don't eat me, please. I think it's disgusting, I swear. Oh, well, that notified us to uh, where he was. Quite well. Let's see. Can't reach. Uh, so cancel that order. <laughs> We're saving that skull for this guy now. So let's move you up. So hopefully they will go after you instead. Or at least the cavalry will. Actually, resume that order. I don't want this guy to be able to hit him. Okay. Um, let's move our infantry up some. There. Okay. That's one dealt with, and oh! There's still a bit of reach on them even after they've stopped moving. Okay. Now, Johnny Two Skulls. I choose you and make you Johnny Three Skulls. Three skulls to turn into a demon. Demons get an extra action each round. Use your second action to attack. Okay, that that is a big thing. Boom, <laughs> how do you like me now? Dear gods, what is that? What happened to him? Demon form, son. Double the actions, double the fun. <laughs> I do not like the sound of that. You are not going to like the sound of that indeed. Okay. Oh, run? Great job, boss. I'm impressed. Wait until I find my other sword. You haven't seen anything yet. Now let's move out. I get a good feeling of uh, what that sword was that we were killed with then. <laughs> you have your scabbards, you know. That can't be good for his teeth. Let's see. Okay, 65... Uh, yeah, 56 experience, gold, gold skulls. Where did those come from? First win today. Uh, winner times two. Okay. Demons, sto summon steals, general kills. Okay, summon steals. That might get interesting. Hmm. And we have a pile. Oh, this is the right version of corn. 
Emblem one of two, Demon Infantry Uncommon. Is this just some sort of collectible thing? Ship of the Dead, Common. Okay. Oh, beat level with at least two demon allies alive. Okay. Uh, All right, we only summoned one, but not bad. And we... Hmm. We are almost out of time with this, so I don't think we can get another mission of this done, but we can at least see what happens at the introduction here. Avoid counterattacks. Melee fighters can't fight back against long-range attacks. Yeah, that's basic strategy. <laughs> Wandering Archer. I'm the great Lord Akamoto. Join my army. Yeah, we're gonna take the gate to the afterlife by force. Check out, you know, check out this God, you know, forsaken limbo, you know, God's forsaken limbo once and for all. Oh, you're kind of not welcome here, Ronin scum. Yeah, I'll help you kill these annoying guards at least. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I was sort of expecting a bit more, but okay. Check it out. My bow can hit that foe across the water with no counterattack, and he said something. But I missed that. Hmm. It's being a bit inconsistent with the with the text. Some of the uh, thing, some of them I need to click to uh, get it to move on, but others just pop up and leave. Okay. Uh, let's see if about finishing up this little encounter first. Uh, enemies win when they can't counterattack. Okay. Mm. Uh, nice bit of info. And um, okay, nothing much to else here. So, yeah. Uh, this is this is also a very likely one. Uh, yeah. yeah, for streaming. Yeah. Yeah, this one feels like it could work on a nice Saturday. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, to the last game. Oh, yeah, that's uh, two very likely ones. And of this one, I've heard some good things. And why the hell did it open? Okay, I opened it up. It, it opened up a settings menu. And... Uh, I'd already preset it to open up in windowed, but it opened up a window in between my monitors. So, uh, the hell game. <laughs> okay, just move it into position reasonably. I've seen a little bit of this game on YouTube, but I've never seen anyone do a full playthrough of it. Okay, uh, game capture. There we go. And then screen share to Dirk here. Thank you. And here we are in Slasher's Keep. I couldn't show the first bit because, yeah, it was a click any button to continue. And this game, it's, it's, yeah, Gorgian Northner. Oh, locked. Okay. Simak, Northner, <laughs> Beardy Bald, All these Smooths, Mountain Man Curls. <laughs> Okay, uh, too old for this. <laughs> okay, let's go. Easy mode, weakens enemies, disables achievements, and character unlocks. Okay, let's get started then. I don't think I've seen anyone try the Amazons. Um, I'm not too sh I'm guessing that with characters being unlockable that there will be effects, but we'll just have to see. I, born by the grace of the gods, no less than a king to be, stripped of all nobility and left to rot by the graces of men, a story of might, magic, and grand betrayal, now reduced to the confines of a clammy cell in Slash's Keep. Uh, you were to wither away until the years would claim your sanity and ultimately your life. And wither you did until one day an opportunity to escape presented itself. Realms break when depleted. Was that a wooden floppy disk? <laughs> WSD, hold to sprint, space to jump. Okay, uh, I'm not too sure if a gap in a wall that probably has been there for who knows how long counts as an opportunity. But uh, then again, I did see one little bit about this game, and that is, uh, well, 
the hinges have literally rusted off. <laughs> or they were never there in the first place. <laughs> Eater interacts. Nope. And yeah, as you can see, stuff in this game is very cell shaded. But items, and as you will see later, enemies are all back in a bit. Come on. <laughs> items and such will be... Uh, we can't even pick them up. Not that, not that we have any need to, really. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, town how plan. Hmm? I said, how about equipping? Yeah. Wait. This... Let's see. Oh, no. Uh, it's a wood <laughs> Unbecoming shoes, plus four armor. Okay. Simple mittens. Right click just puts it on it. Why, why do we have a wallet with bills? <laughs> Isn't this supposed to be in medieval times of sorts? Let's Didn't see. know. China used paper money early on. Okay. Uh, China still used paper money in, in 12th century. Okay, we have different methods of attack. I will mean, I mean have to double check it though. It was a while. Aim your air weapon in the way of incoming blows. If you don't aim precisely, you may still take some damage. Some attacks cannot be parried. You have to smack enemies with your inventory sack. Yeah, your, your inventory is, in this game is for a bit more than just carrying stuff around. Okay, so parrying is just playing in the middle of the screen. That'll make it easier so there's no directional parrying. Oh, hello there. Oh, oh, bad. Well, you guys, this early on. Uh, yeah, I have seen a bit of this game, which tells that these mole folks are dangerous. Oh, parried. Parried. Oh. There we go. More naked mole rats. Well, not entirely naked. Uh, true. <laughs> uh, I forgot to set the timer. I really... I have something better that would act as a timer, but it'd be extra noisy. Oh, okay, that's nice. Fits in the, a... the... I really like... It, it is a very homage to... Old 3D games. Yeah. And I actually improved it. Ow. Ow. Oh, bars. Wait, is that an armored treasure goblin? Apparently, and my attacks aren't doing anything to it. So but it's a wooden axe against steel armor. Yeah, uh, do we have. What the heck do you expect? Okay. Yeah, the Wait. spikes on the wall are rather obvious. Yep. Maybe so, you should knock him into the spikes. I'm trying to. He knocks me back as much as I knock him back. Come on, just... Am I going to die to a freaking armored goblin? I can see saliva fly out of his helmet. There we go. <laughs> That's so long. Uh, let's grab and everything. Got wall. And we got a key. And oh, hello. Uh, I'll take. I'll not take that one then. Okay. Can I break? No, I cannot. Okay. I thought I'd give a bit more. Uh, wait, wait, bit wait, more... wait, 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 wait. Check inventory first. Uh, requires five intelligence, assault ones, experts, leg armor plus nine. We don't have that. We have, well, the boots aren't any better. This one attacks faster, but does less damage. And <laughs> we can put on a silly hat. <laughs> Babby's first wand. Next. Draw your wand, press C or number key, we have bound your wand too. Okay. Let's see. Shove people and things. Right. Okay, it's telekinetic wand. 
Use right to pick up an object and then to throw. Okay. Uh, let's Wait, stick to... Wait, I think I see spears. Oh, you, you can even see how much ammo it has on the right? Yep. And how do I swap back to this, to my weapon then? Or do I need to sign it? This will probably be better. Let's see. Slime of sorts, a very bouncy slime. Okay, I. Yeah, they've been having a few new things that people were not aware of, like armored treasure goblins and. That? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, there was a lot of stuff in that. Okay. Gotcha. I do have to say, the zombies here look really depressed. <laughs> But they, they look dried as all hell. Okay. Uh, oh, inventory is full. Uh, let's see. That is the same amount as that we have. That is better than that we have. So, bye-bye, Axe. And hello. Oh, we don't have the space for it. Yeah, we just did a Minecraft pooping. We replaced a wood axe to a stone axe. <laughs> uh, let's see. Seven, nine, fast. That one can go because it's worth less. We have a, we already have a silly hat that's worth that amount, but we do want some better shoes. Let's, we'll keep, we'll keep this, just in case as a backup. Actually, might as well assign it then. Okay. And okay, I did throw them a bit too much on top of each other. Nine, ten to seventeen. Is that better? Yes, that is better. So, already we have a replacement. Okay. Sparkly chest and an orc pinup. Doors jams. <laughs> hmm. Then how do we get in? I very much doubt that we can break the wall. And we we can't hit the lock. Wait. Can I push it? Nope. Hmm. nope. How do we get that then? Wait, like it's yammed. So, can you break it? Yeah, I tried swinging at it already. Nope. Wait, the wand. I'm not Maybe sure if it would work. Okay. Maybe. Let's see. I very much. Yep. No, it can't pick up. It can't pick up chests. I think of the door. Uh, if it's jammed in place, then I very much doubt it can carry that either. Can we break this? No, we can't. Okay. Stairs up. I, I honestly expect it to be a bit more of a tutorial here, but apparently this... No, that was it already with it. Oh, hello, boys. Yeah, it, it, do you remember the tutorial in Doom? Yeah, no. <laughs> that was in the manual. Okay, just patty cake with the zombie. Only instead of going for the hands, I go for the face. You are a bit of a tough bastard. Okay, patty cake, patty cake, patty cake, patty cake. <laughs> Okay, combat is slow, but not bad. There you go. Definitely a bit unique, considering in what style it is in. Consume. Okay, let, let's... How do we... Okay, right click. Because we... I got hurt quite bad early, and the heck is this? Whatever it did... Okay, there was something on the side. Oh, hello. Uh, that... <laughs> I thought the thing made the sound, but no, it's uh, Gobby McWan face here. I think those are actually vampires. And I very much doubt that we can block magic like that, so we'll just have to keep hacking into him. Okay, level up, four attributes points awarded. You gain the level, open your character sheet to sign your new character. Uh, actually, 
You may also want open up your skill book by clicking the, its tiny representation to the right of your hotbar, or by hitting B to inspect a new skill point and you have just been awarded. Okay, first though, let's grab that. Standard issue shooter wand. Let's see, a uh, backstabber. Betrayal has left its burning mark on your soul. In your years of wrongful imprisonment, it's festered and eventually became part of who you are. Sneak attacks do an additional 25%. Okay. And repost. Your grown combat expertise provides you with an enhanced ability to exploit your foe's weaknesses. Preparing an attack increases the damage of your next blow by 19%. Effect lasts for 1.9. That's kind of okay. good. Yeah. And how do we... How do we assign the attribute points then? Not, not by that. Uh, which... Oh, here, but you do. Points to spend... We have only two of all of those and we need five intelligence for this plus nine armor and plus one percent crit on rain melee and ranged and that assault wants expert perk so yeah let's put some points in that and one in strength just to be certain let's up our damage and we'll put those on <laughs> we look like a some sort of barbarian salesman. <laughs> or a salesman who has been very unlucky. 10 to 13. Oh, requires 5 strength. Okay, then we'll, we'll keep this sword around for now. Let's grab whatever other loot we got. Some cash. A tarnished finger ring ring. Okay. Drum of chromatic crystal. Drum of chromatic crystals consumable increases one charge. Okay. You don't often see things that you can up recharge wands and stuff in, well, in games like these. And let's not fall down there. Yeah, let's not. Another fun fact: okay. there has existed actual stone swords. Yeah, I believe the Aztecs used obsidian for quite a bit. Uh I mean, actual people called out stone into the sort of shape of Gladius. Okay. However, if you can see why those did not get popular. Okay, this wand only has two charges left, so we might as well uh, use them up. Uh, just a full explanation here. Those swords that we in Europe and Greece and such made st stone swords when they discovered copper. They some still did not like copper, tried to keep stone, so they tried to make stone swords. Problem was it was extremely hard to do and it was easy to break. Yeah, since metals are quite a bit tougher and Yeah, it's okay. still impressive they made entire stone blades to easily be slot up on upon a stick. But yeah. A bit too much work for something that too easily breaks. Oh, that's the effect in the turn. Okay, okay that went a lot quicker than the previous one. For a moment, I thought he was getting up. Yeah, oh and... gosh, you have to remember something about them. I think two, three YouTubers, when they killed these first time, they actually thought they saw the penis. <laughs> Luckily, it was just a tail, but still, it tricked three YouTubers. Shot in, in, in vulnerability. Okay. At least I hope that's the tail. Yeah, it's the tail. It's... <laughs> oh, there's two of them in there. So let's avoid that for a second. Let's see, we have a mini map in the upper left, and hello there. Just step forward and back. Let's see, plus, and we don't have chest armor, we don't have shoulder armor, and we want to cast whenever. Oh! And some boots. There's something else here. Not a... Invulnerability potion. Okay, for 11 seconds. Um, put that on, put that on. <laughs> and we just look absolutely silly. And what, what kind of boots are those? Yeah, just, and just normal slippers. I mean, these. the new ones. Oh, these. Uh, scary slippers of fire. 
Scary slippers. <laughs> what? They were talking about slippers. Okay. Uh, th this game has a lot of charm as well. Yeah, I can see you streaming this on Saturdays. Just for something a bit more fun. Yeah, uh, on that, uh, it's not that I've grown tired of Hard Base in Space Shipbreaker. It's that apparently the current story goes until ma uh, up till level 18. You and won't pause a book. Uh, hmm? You won't pause a book. A book? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm dropping. Hard Space Shipbreaker, the current story goes on until level 18, or certification level 18. But the point of where we are, it's you know, the our progress in the levels has gotten quite a bit slower. Like 5,000 points per ship. Uh, oh, those are save stations, nice to know. So, yeah, and at the current... So, at, at current, that would mean that... Locked from the other side, okay. At current, that would mean that we'd have to break apart like four to five ships, probably for any of the following levels. And yeah, that'll just get. We'll run out of stuff to talk to and react about with that pretty quickly, I think. And hello. Yeah. Another patty cake zombie. Yeah, let me start off. So uh, yeah, for the moment I'm thinking about taking a bit of a break with uh, Hard Space. And yeah, you are stuck. Okay. You are, you are not stuck. So yeah, we'll move on to something else there for a bit. Then we'll probably return to Shipbreaker eventually. What is with the red glow? It wasn't from the parrying stuff, because it was also happening when we weren't parrying. Take some oh. health. Oh, there's a bunch in here. Okay, people, line up. <laughs> now, I had heard that weapons in this game might break. Not too sure about that, though. I think that, that's might, true. It might be that showing that... Uh, with the red flashes that oh, that it's the weapon taking damage and are you too stuck in the web i hope you are nope nope oh come on uh okay <laughs> all of them are stuck in the web Just, now the worst thing to happen would be to, for me to accidentally slice the web and free them because <laughs> then i'd be basically dead Hello, yep, okay, uh, I'll deal with this guy first, so I don't accidentally face two if I do hit the thing. Oh, how? how did you get out? Okay, let's switch to this one for a bit. And I hope that I don't accidentally free the both of them. I, well, I didn't free both of them. And there we go. Okay, this, this will be a lot... in a way slower. We're, I'm guessing the levels are mostly randomized as well. Okay. I think so. So, yeah, there does... I'm not sure if there will be much of a story with this. It has a story, that much I know, and you mostly see the, the story for each level you complete. Okay, now what did that do? There's a bunch of stuff out of reach here, and we cannot jump for the life of us. Hmm. Oh, hello there. And as we saw also from the skills, the skill of the hint of story. Yeah, we were betrayed by someone. Only you in here? Okay, I'll just take your come. I'll take your coin and run off. Okay. Maybe 
maybe this can go. Oh, hello. Crudely drawn map. And your map has been updated. Okay. Uh, can I magnify that a bit somehow? Um, what is that? Okay, this is a, a codex. Assault once experts, days of meditation have revealed to you an important insight. You have a deep-seated passion for riddling people and things with holes. 10% uh, in, uh, increased accuracy when firing piercing projectiles. Okay, can... We cannot break these. But we, we can give them a shove. Uh, what is... Oh, hello! <laughs> so that is how we get in here. Weird chunk of honor. <laughs> Ordinary bats. And... What are these? Have that aside. This is better than our the, our current uh, wait, axe. Okay, it went back into the inventory. It's not selected. Well, it, the one. It is slow. It's plus four armor, which is the same, and the other thing. Unmatched predators. Hmm. Right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Put that there. Put that there, and that there. Let's see. On that, yeah. Those can be gotten rid of. Is it gotten rid of? And that's the same armor as what we currently have. Oh, for a moment I thought someone was knocking on the door, but no, those were the stones we were pushing around. <laughs> hmm. I was wondering as well, what the heck was that? Okay. Um... Oh, we can remove the map with M. Uh, Not that oh, I, I think, think it's one of ones. If I remember right, don't hit red barrels. Yeah, yeah that's a pretty standard thing. Okay. There's this room left. And hello, boys. I think you, you disturbed our uh, sumo session. Okay, anything in here that is useful or for getting us out of here? Hmm. Pardon? And what is them? a hidden button? Sounds of machinery. I'm guessing that might have opened that door uh, in the other corner of the map. So let's go take a look. Uh, let's see. Our old stuff, and then over here. Okay, the yeah, the clear areas are pathways. Yep, there we go. Clanging swords, a shove, a kick, your adversary hit dust. Prince Simak is victorious, the Herald explains. The crowd cheered. You're up, son, King Rick Rickhelm said, giving Bind yeah, Bindrick. A gentle path. Bindrick threw his sword and entered the arena. Don't hold back, brother, you told him. Show our strength, that's what these tourneys are for. In the royal grandstand above the crowds, the king was seated, beside him diplomatic envoys from the Amazon lands, all watching the exhibition, a prelude to talks that would shape the fate of nations. Okay. A part of me wants to make, uh, have someone make a, a wooden floppy disk now. Oh, oh no. Um. Uh, yeah, see, see that? I told you, the worst story. Okay. We'll, we'll have to see how things go. We're almost dead now. We sh uh, isn't this a game a bit roguelike? Uh, ro yeah. Roguelike? Yeah, very randomized elements. Why is this thing not dead? There we go. Let's join that up. Yeah, we were we were almost dead there. One more hit probably would have done us in. Do you have a healing potion? I just downed it. Now let's see. Uh, weird short swords. Very fast. Requires five strengths. Yeah, maybe taking the intelligence wasn't the best idea, but we are close to 11. Okay, that slows us down. 
Okay. Uh, you. I'll take Fight. a hit. Hmm. That's one way to do it. Yeah. And uh, hello there. And up there. That is. Yep. Oh. Bugs that shoot blood. Okay. That's going to be a nuisance, so... Are those wait. blood mobs or something else? That would probably be the closest description at the moment, and hello there. Can I interest you into joining your friends? Yes, I, I can literally <laughs> lay them over each other. <laughs> oh, and you must be a healer of sorts. Oh, and... <laughs> okay, two for one. Let's One well, die yourself. From one second to the next, your arms seem too heavy to lift. Your vision grows dim as you uh, dim as you drag your feet across the floor in a vain attempt to carry on fighting. With your last breath, you embrace the tranquility and fade into the light. As you reach as as you reach out to touch it, it speeds away. You feel as though you were falling through an endless void, tumbling ever faster until you are jolted back to life by forces unknown. You awaken your cell, your equipment looted, and your head buzzing with ache. Your body feels weaker, and memories of your attempted escape have vanished. Okay. Yeah, there was it, something yeah. up here, but I missed that. Yeah, so, so the hint that it said that, you know, it gained a skill, a permanent skill point that you can choose freely. So, each time you do this, you will be stronger and stronger. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's this here now. Uh, how do we open that? I didn't see the key for it. Yeah. I, think, I think it's just right. normally. Or it this looks to be the book, but hmm. Because you need to gain levels to uh, access the other things. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking there's a bit missing here. Nick. What is with that? It has, where's talking going on? In game or over your end? Yeah, there's talking behind this wall. Something about it. It's quite lengthy from the sounds of it. But I think we, yeah, let, let's call it here. We are at the two hours now. Uh, a bit over, actually. Uh, I know. Started at five, the five minutes pre. Uh, yeah, we are at we are at time. This this looks like a fun game, but maybe more of for the occasional streaming, because we'd probably have to we'd probably have to do quite a few runs at this to make a, much progress. Yeah, and this might have been one of those that may work better on YouTube even. Hmm. Yeah, if if we do start with uh, YouTube specific recordings, up. Uh, I think it'd probably be a good idea to keep it at one recording per week because otherwise we'd be doing things like five times we'd, we'd be doing things for most for most of the week and yeah we both want time to relax as well yeah <laughs> okay but for now yeah, definitely a good batch, except for Sins of a Solar Empire, but that seems to be more a technical thing, and to just not be much of the type that we'd be interested in much. I didn't actually see if there was a campaign or not, but if there was, it would probably get difficult to the point where I'd break. Most likely. Yeah. But it's like one of those games. So, for now, Silent Storm, uh, a good yes. Uh, uh, skulls of the Shogun, also a yes. And Slasher's Keep uh, would depend on what we do with it. Yeah, I can say yes for streaming, but maybe not a. Uh, yeah, maybe on, on occasionally more. Like maybe yeah. three times in a row, then a break, then do it again. Since uh, doing it like uh, ten times in a row will probably get a bit much. Yeah, maybe a bit of a filler thing in between. Yeah, we'll we'll see what we do with it. For now, though, 
Uh, anyone has been watching now or later, thank you for watching, and thank you especially to Akira. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, tomorrow an extra stream for testing VRs. Uh, yeah, for VR testing the uh, Oculus Air Link feature. Because the previous uh, on Tuesday I did a stream where we tested uh, the Oculus with the connection with the cable, which I have over here. And yeah, it it can get quite annoying having to deal with this thing. The, what the Air Link does is that it allows you to connect the the Oculus Quest wirelessly, which at the moment I at the moment only Oculus has uh, uh, wireless headsets. But like I said then, uh, multiple times, uh, the moment that one of its competitors brings out a wireless headset that can also connect wi wirelessly to a computer, uh, I'm jumping ship, yeah, because basically fuck Facebook and fuck all their attempts to escape all of their bullshit. Because even when they change their name to Meta, they are still just Facebook and they're still just Facebook shit. But yeah, that'll be for tomorrow. For now though, thanks again. And until then, have a nice day. And until then. Bye, folks.